In 2000, he proposed that China could leapfrog Western automakers by developing electric vehicles now instead of trying to compete with them on the internal combustion engine, which is already being developed by Western automakers for hundreds of years. This would not only put them on equal footing in the future with Western automakers, after all, it was eight years before the original Tesla Roadster came out, it would also solve that pesky air pollution problem, all while reducing their dependence on foreign oil. And honestly, his proposal worked. China's air pollution levels have dropped by 42% in the past decade since the EVs there have really taken off. You remember what the smog looked like before? Here's a shot of the Great Wall and some of the other scenes around China with the smog and the pollution. And here it is today. Bright blue skies. Amazing how that works. So this proposal from Wan led to massive investments by the Chinese government in the form of subsidies, cheap loans to companies looking to build EVs, as well as land grants for companies looking to mine the raw material, really investing in the core components, e.g. the battery, of an EV. And they not only incentivized private companies to build EVs, they also sort of seeded the market by buying EVs directly for their government-owned vehicles, such as the bus and taxi fleet in Shenzhen. And we have a little video here of this bus fleet that BYD converted to electric in Shenzhen, which is still to this day pretty amazing. There are over 16,000 buses that they converted all the way back in 2009. I mean, around the same time is when Tesla unveiled the original Roadster, and it was really, you know, sort of taken the world by storm, but never taken seriously by anybody. It's not the same as having 16,000 city buses converted over to electric as to have some kind of little sports car that is just a toy for the ultra rich or famous. So... In China, they were already way ahead back when the EV market in the West was just barely getting off the ground.